Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today is kind of a kind of a special day. So I um <laughs> I, I I bought a new desk. I've been working all day. Um well I went to work, then I came home, put this desk together, reran all my freaking wiring, man. Oh my gosh, this is probably like the nicest looking cable cable setup ever. So everything on the desk, like that monitor, this monitor, the PC, the TV the fanatech you know all of that stuff is all ran really nice i've got it all zip tied everything wire nice wire management for that but because now my my other monitor is so far away i had to buy another uh had to buy another cable so i had to buy a, a display cable so i got that coming tomorrow morning it should be here sometime in the morning and then i'll run that and then i'll redo all of oh i got two of them i bought two of them so i can just run both of them um so to together so that i can so that i can have it looking really nice i'll get all those zip tied together everything is now gonna be in like it's it's place so before i was kind of like not sure what was going on i was moving stuff around i've got a really long hdmi cable that will go from the the that will go from the um the LG all the way to the PlayStation 5, which is, that's going to stay over there. That's going to stay over there. I was thinking about maybe putting it on this shelf right here where the camus, where the camus wheel is, but I decided against that. Um, we're just going to have, and, and it'll be a lot nicer because now I'll only have one system hooked up at a time. I'll just have that one hooked up. If I need to run the uh, thing to the PlayStation, it's pretty close, so I can still run that. Still get that over here to the capture card, everything. So I don't really, I'm not too worried about the PlayStation like being in the frame. Don't really care too much. Um, as for that, like I, I wanted something a little bit more simplistic. So now I've got all the cables ran for one console at a time. So I'll have the Series X always plugged in. Uh, Series S is sitting just right down here under the table. Um, I could actually have this one hooked up too, and then just run it. I, I might run this one to the monitor. Because I've still got, you know, a couple more plugs up here. I bought this strip and I screwed it to the back, this uh, plug strip, and I screwed it to the back of this desk. It looks pretty cool. And then so I've got like the monitor comes in, plugs in, boom, and then it all just goes in like a chain all the way across the back. So nice. One of the problems I was having was like my plug setup. I had all of my plug, I had like this little square uh, thing, and so I'd have to have you know, one monitor plugged in over here. I had like this, oh, it was just so bad. So I've got it all plugged in. Every power strip is plugged into the wall. So I don't have to worry about that. They've got surge protectors, everything like that. For the PC, um, the Fanatec wheel, my lighting in the back. This is pretty nice. Like I got this set up pretty nice. I might run some more LED like under the desk. I don't know. That, that this. I don't know if I'm going to do that. But this desk... I'll tell you what, man, I spent 200 bucks on this desk. It's not exactly like something like super special or anything. It gets the job done and it's exactly the length that I wanted. I took some pictures. I put them up on the channel so that you guys can see what it kind of looks like now with it all. Oh, dude, I love this setup. I like the way it looks. It's like just one straight shot across the whole wall, man. Like like 20 foot wall boom and it's all just one straight shot all the way across into the closet there you know i can still have my shelving up there this looks awesome man like i'm very happy with the way this turned out for my little half man cave <laughs> it's pretty freaking cool um i want to thank you guys man like we're over six thousand subscribers i never thought that i would get to this part i never thought you know i wasn't really I wasn't really sure what to expect, to be completely honest with you. And now that we've built this channel into something that's that's actually like worth, you know, like worth more than just just a hobby. Like it's it's worth, you know, continuing to to, to develop and and continue to grow and to continue to uh to build on. So I have been. I, I do invest in this channel. I, I more than invest every single thing that I get out of the channel right back into the channel. So I wanted to do something nice for the channel. I want to make it look better. I want it to, I want it to be something that I can be more proud of. And like, if, you know, when, when I show somebody off and be like, Hey man, that's, that's like my, my setup, you know, and it's starting to look nicer. It doesn't look all like, like I just threw it together and was just playing around because that's pretty much what it was. Like I would go to work, I'd come home and it's not that I didn't take pride in it. It's just that I didn't, I kept getting stuff so fast and I didn't really have any, um, 
any idea of what I wanted. So I sat down, you know, and I've been thinking about it and I'm like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is the way I want to set it up. I want to have things looking nice. So, so I went out of my way and, and I made that, like I, I put this together and and it looks incredible. Like it looks incredible. <laughs> I'm very happy with the way things have turned out. And this, this is cool, man. Like I, I, I really do think that there is a future on YouTube for this channel. And Thanks to your guys' support, man, we we get to continue to grow. We get to continue to develop content and make things and and like bring bring back the 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 enjoyment that we used to share, like that we used to have for gaming until everything just got all super negative and stuff. So while this channel doesn't grow super fast, it does continue to grow. It's steady growth. We're bringing more people to the to the community. We're we're starting to enjoy video games again. We're starting to have fun. We're starting to be excited again. Uh, we got Starfield coming up. We've got Atlas freaking Fallen coming up here in a few more days. I'm kind of hyped for that game. Like, I'm pretty hyped for that game. I cannot wait to start playing um, Atlas Fallen. Uh, like, that game looks pretty cool. Like, it's... I, I like that open world. I like that um, they, they're talking about it not being like a super, like, like Souls-type experience. It's more like a you know, like a, like a, like an action RPG. And that's, that's cool. Like I'm, I'm excited about that. I wanted to get into Baldur's Gate. I've played like Baldur's Gate on PlayStation 2 and, and, and like Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Um, obviously this is a different type of Baldur's Gate. So I'm kind of just going to move away from that one. I don't have the time to invest in that. I'm still working on Remnant 2. I'm still trying to play like other games that I've been, I've been interested in. I want to start doing some more sim racing content. As you can see, like that thing's all set up. We got the Fanatec, Fanatec set up right here. We got the freaking, you know, the canvas right there. I did order, I did order the, um, the pedal adapter so now that i'll be able to use like the camus and i'll be able to to be able to use the camus and make some some content on that because i want to pull that 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 five newton meter one down that c5 i want to pull that down hook it to the rig and like get some freaking testing on that because i can only play like a couple of games with the uh, pedal shifters i was only able to map a few games to that so i want to play some acetyl course i want to play some of the other stuff on that and and get you some some more content for that uh, cause I, cause I know there's a lot more PC people coming to the, coming to the channel now, uh, because of the AMD stuff. So we're going to start, you know, talking about some of them, some of these, uh, rigs that you can get just for the PC and, you know, like the value that you can save on them. And right now Fanatec has basically got a pretty decent deal for their, for their five Newton meter, you know, wheel setup. If you buy pedals and a, and, and if you buy some pedals in a, in a rim, you can get the you can get the base for 199 which which isn't bad that's actually a fairly decent deal for that uh depending on what what rim you set i mean if you buy that if you get that one and then you get an xbox rim that's that's two con that's two systems that you can that you can use that actually with so so that's not a bad idea that's not a bad idea that's actually fairly decent you can just get the regular 79 dollars set of pedals you, you can be out the door for you know still a pretty good price so um yeah, this was a fun day, man. Like this was a fun day getting all of this set up. And um, I, I put some pictures up so you guys could see what it looks like now. You guys can see like the new um, the new way things are set up. Like I, I love this. This looks so clean and so nice now. It just boom. This this says professional. <laughs> professional. So, all right, my friends, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching.